Mental health complications cost thousands of people their lives every day. The University of Southern Mississippi addressing that topic in a big way. Fox 23's Corey Howard has details about the mental health and suicide prevention tour that USM hosted today. Nearly 45,000 people in the United States die by suicide each year. Uh, 20 years ago this April, uh, a week from, week from now, uh, my wife Kristen, who, for whom the Hope Center is named after, died by suicide. Reese Butler knows all too well about the impact suicide can cause a family after the death of his wife. In response to his wife's death, Butler started the Kristen Brooks Hope Center. There was nothing about Kristen that couldn't be worked out through alternative therapies, yoga, uh, other psychiatric uh, tools that are very effective and work. And so after she died, I devoted my life to trying to prevent suicide by the very same type of person that Kristen was. And I had designed the uh, Live Mental Health Fair to go to college campuses to educate young women about mood disorders. Which explains why Butler and his team visited USM. Uh, there are a lot of people who struggle with mental health issues but are afraid to speak up because of the stigma that exists. So today we're hoping to um, break that stigma. Breaking the stigma by getting students to talk about the issues they face and educating others about mental health disorders through playing games that contain facts about the different disorders. Try to match them. All right, hold on. You passed. <laughs> Congratulations. All right. Butler says white males over the age of 45 had the highest suicide rate, while African American women had the lowest. That is a very important statistic. Why? Because the protective factors, the resilient factors that African American women have are those same factors that if everybody had, we would be a, a much safer and happier place, happier world. So why don't we spend some effort looking into what those factors are and get some scientific proof as to we know that they're the lowest. We don't know exactly why. Corey Howard, Fox 23 News. Now, if you have thought about committing suicide, please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, the number 1-800-273-8255.